Hello, hello, good evening. Hello. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Welcome, good evening. Thank you. How are you? I am fine. Great. Give me a second. I think I have some issues with my audio. Can you hear me well now? Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Oh, hello. All right. Is the audio okay? Yes. Yes, Miss, it is. All right. Thanks. Yes, I think my earphones were not connected properly. All right. How was your weekend? Did you have a good weekend? How was your weekend? Did you rest? Very tired. Very tired. Yep. Really? Why? Um, Why were you tired over the weekend? No, I sleep a lot. <laughs> you slept a lot, <laughs> all right. <laughs> nice. All right, good. What about the others? Uh -huh. How was your weekend? What did you do? Did you go to the beach? Did you go to the stadium? Did you watch soccer? Did you rest? Did you play? No, teacher. In my case, I didn't rest. I have a special event. Uh, it's about the uh, wedding of my little sister. Oh my God, that was really- She got married. <laughs> yes, yeah, she got Easy. married on Saturday. <laughs> a little bit, yes. All right, so you were helping with all the events. Yes. Well, a lot of people do get married in December. <laughs> it's correct, yes. In the, uh, uh, Two weeks ago, uh, my, my uh, other sister uh, got married too. No way. So they got yes. married the same year, the same month? Uh, on November. In November, true. Yes. Wow. Well, my colleagues are getting married this month too. Really? Yes, two colleagues from work. So we are waiting <laughs> for the wedding. <laughs> That's nice. Okay, well, congratulations. Okay. You. Did you work, everybody? What did you do? How was your weekend? Hey, Mr. Sergio, good evening. You have a collection of, of long plays? Is that right? Yes. Oh, sí. how interesting. <laughs> and what artists you. do you have? Uh, the Beatles, uh, Brad, uh, Carlos Santana, Elton John. All classics. Yes. <laughs> you you must be a very good friend of a of a person I know. He has a huge collection of long plays too. One day he <laughs> he he got the like an exposition at my work, and he also got this exposition long plays and I don't know if it was paintings original paintings from him. He's kind of an artist. Yes, it was really cool. All right. Hey, good evening. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, hello. Did you have dinner? Did you have coffee? Did you finish the platform? Yes. <laughs> so many questions. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> Not yet. No okay, yet. Okay, in progress. All right. Well, I have 
some bad news. <laughs> Just starting with bad news. I was testing with another computer in the background is terrible. I couldn't connect the other computer. I was pretending to use the other computer because I wanted to use my personal computer. This is my computer from my other work. So I wanted to use it, but I couldn't. It was impossible. So I was testing, testing, testing in the background. The, the computer doesn't accept, you know, backgrounds. It's possible to have the camera on, but without the background. So I was really, really disappointed. All right, but let's get started. And what's the first thing we do? We have attendance. First things first. So it's the attendance. Let's see, today is December the 5th, Monday, December the 5th, right? Correct? All right. All right. Good right. morning. Not yet. Okay. Carlos Emilio. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Cesar. Not yet. Well, I'm checking the. Let's see. I see two messages from. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I see a cow, <laughs> but I hadn't seen it. So I see Elizabeth, Elio, and Melissa. My goodness. They still reported themselves, right? Claudia? Present. Good evening. Present. Hi, Daniel? Present teacher. Good evening, wow. Edwin? Not yet. Emerson? Not yet. Eric. Teacher. Hey. Good Hi. evening. Good evening. Imer. Present teacher. Good evening. Jacobo. Present teacher. Good evening. Jocelyn. Karen. Not yet. Jorge. Is still at work, he says. Hi, welcome. Julio. Present. Estoy, voy a estar de escuchante porque estoy en, en el trabajo. All right. Carla, also listening. Lailin. Present. Hi, present. Okay. Hi, hi. <laughs> Mary. Mary. Hasn't come yet. Mario. Present, Miss. Hey, welcome. Well, Melissa says she's on her way home. Sergio? Present, teacher. Hi, and we'll then. Present. Good. All right. Let's see. Okay, some people reporting problems with the connection. Okay. So now I'll be listening of you have the flu. Oh my god. That's not nice. Okay. <laughs> That's terrible actually. Mm -hmm. Okay. As you may have noticed, this is the last class of the unit two. Yay! <laughs> okay, and today we need to review the topics that we have studied throughout this unit. There has been a lot, actually, a lot of structures, a lot of topics, a lot of vocabulary. So I'm just checking for you to have an idea of what we have been studying so far. Yeah, uh -huh. and the unit one also included a lot of topics, right? Many topics. But let's see, let's start from unit two. So we started with online orders and refunds, right? So the first thing we had was a lot of vocabulary. 
because we have credit cards information, compare your information and submit, select the item to purchase, go to the online web page, write your billing address, check the price, doctor in the method of payment, log into your account. So we have all of this vocabulary to practice. Then they introduce the demonstrative pronouns, right? For singular and for plural, for near and for far, this, that, these, those, right? Okay, and here's the explanation. All right, we had a lot of exercises regarding to that, and then we studied the contrast between can and could, right? And of course, we have the explanation, right? How to use can, how to use could for more formality, to sound more polite, right? So we usually use could. And the negative of can, can't, and the negative of could, couldn't, right? We also had some exercises. And then we talk about satisfaction, how satisfied you are with the product, right? Or with a customer service, actually. And of course, we use may and might for especially for possibilities. We know that may and might, we are probably familiar with the use of may for asking or requesting for permission. But in this case, we use both for possibilities, right? And then we ask for request. Okay, I mean, refund request right if the server was bad would request it for a refund and then we get to the structure of would and would like to so it's kind of a hypothetical situation you say i would or i would like to right and we have some sentences but first we have this explanation would and the negative form would be wouldn't, right? I would change this product. So it's a possibility in a hypothetical situation. I would buy there again. He wouldn't stay in this place. And this is the negative form. Would, would not would be wouldn't, right? And for question, we start with would. Yeah, would you give me your information? It's kind of a conditional, actually. Yeah, and then would like to, right? I would like to change this product. He would like to buy there again. He wouldn't like to come back here and kind of expressing preferences, I think. How do you use would and would like to? And then, of course, you have this um, examples. Just write a five line paragraph. Hold on. I'm sorry. Thank Bless you. you. You see, oh, the teacher is thesis. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't turn off the microphone. All right, so we have these examples, and those are very similar examples to the ones that you have on the platform, because I was checking the platform. So very, very similar. Complete the following statements or questions, okay? Hmm. And there are some typos, actually, I told you, right? So we corrected these typos. Like here would be, she wouldn't, would you like to, right? But here says world and here says wall <laughs> as well, right? So we got to correct those typos. And then you got to write five lines paragraph about what you would do in case a customer. Okay, I'm going to stop this and I'm going to make a clarification in Spanish. ¿Por qué les digo que el uso de would es un caso hipotético? Porque les hablo dando qué haría si eso les sucediera. Por eso estamos hablando de una de un, una situación hipotética. Por ejemplo, what would you do? ¿Qué, qué haría usted si tuviera un car accident? Por ejemplo, I would call my mom. Yo llamaría a mi mamá, right? So in this case, cuando les piden que escriban este paragraph, write a five line paragraph about what you would do, escriban un paragraph de lo que usted haría 
In case a customer wants a refund. In case, en caso de que un customer quisiera un refund debido a un bad service or product that he or she paid for. Pues, ¿qué haría usted? Si usted fuera eh, el que está a cargo de la, de la store o el que está a cargo del negocio, si un cliente le pide un refund debido a que este customer considera que usted le dio un mal producto o un mal servicio. Por eso es un hypothetical situation, un caso hipotético. Imagínense qué haría. ¿Okay? En este caso, obviamente, usted usaría el would. I would do this, I would do that. Okay? Yo haría esto, yo haría aquello, ¿verdad? Pero, obviously, en el caso de would like to, como me gustaría, ¿ya? Entonces también es más pensado para el cliente, para el customer, ¿ok? Más como yo quisiera cambiar este producto, ¿sí? Quiero saber si es posible, ¿right? So es como consultar, pero de una forma nice, ¿right? So I would like to buy I would like to, me gustaría hacer eso, right? So I wouldn't like to come back. No me gustaría venir de nuevo because the server was bad or the, the person who attended me was not very kind, blah, 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 right? So, entonces, para el caso hipotético, vamos a usar más would y el verbo nada más, sin usar el like to, yes? Eso es como más para expresar algo que me gustaría hacer, yes? Y eso es como lo que haría. Right? Okay, in this case, voy a dejar de compartir pantalla because I have something for you. ¿Se recuerdan algunas de las estructuras que estuvimos viendo durante toda la unit? Y una de esas era... Okay. Esto solo es para conversation, okay? So, vamos a ver qué tan talentosos están y qué tan despiertos están tonight. Let's see. Wait a second. All right. <clears throat> Bye. Vamos a ver. The first person on the list. Vamos a empezar con. Okay. ¿Quién es la primera persona en el listado? Uh -huh. De los participantes tenemos a Jorge. Jorge, can you speak or not yet? Not yet, maybe. Then we got Cesar, listener, Imer, listener, Mario, listener, Carlos, are you ready? No, teacher, I'm listener. But I, I can. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because I have all of all of you as listeners. I'm like, what? <laughs> Who's going to participate? <laughs> all right, so yeah. you, you go ahead. I, I, I have a problem with my computer. Uh, uh, I am in the, in the cell phone. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. All right, so just have a question for you. Can you play a musical instrument? Yes, I can. Play really? with musical instrument. What uh, I can instrument? I can play a, a a guitar. All right, nice. When did you learn? Mm, let me think. Um, I well, I I I learn and play the the guitar. Um, 10 years ago. 10 years ago. All right. So that was a goal you set to yourself. You say, oh, I want to play the guitar. I want to play the guitar and I'm going to take classes or lessons. <laughs> uh, no, um, I play, I, I learned play the, the guitar uh, by, uh, by um, bo boots. Uh, Using a book. Uh -huh, book. Really? Yes. So you practically self-taught yourself. 
Yes. That's nice. Because you are able to learn by yourself. That's really great. How do you say este, este autodidacta? Mm -hmm. Self-thought. Mm -hmm. Yes, you say I self-thought. Or I taught myself. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, that's really interesting. All right. We're going to eliminate that one. And thank you, Cesar. Your work. All right. The next person able to answer? Okay. Let's see. <laughs> All right. How about Carlos, I think? Can you make a cake, Carlos? Nobody can make a cake in the class, by the way. Just eat the cake. <laughs> Just eat the cake for birthdays, but not making a cake. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I, well, I have never made a cake. I think I made a cake once when I was in a French class just for an assignment, but I think it's kind of easy. It's not that hard. All right. <laughs> Let's go. <clears throat> All right. I think we're going to be asking who can, because if we go in order, some people are not able to answer. So who can swim very well? Hmm. Anybody? Mm. Almost, almost. Almost. <laughs> All right. Mm. You can swim, but not very well. <laughs> can you swim? <laughs> Por poco y me muero. <laughs> Really? You get drawn in the sea, in the ocean, or in a river, or in a lake? Mm, the lake. In a lake. People mm. say that swimming in a lake is really hard. Yes. Mm. All right. Me, me, me canse, ya no pude. <laughs> but you can swim. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you were like really deep in the lake. Yeah. All right. So let's eliminate this one. Ha, ah, this one, some people have to say I can. Who can okay. drive a car? Yes, I can. Yes, yes, I can. Yes, yes. All right. Daniel Man. can. Manual or automatic? I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't. Only automatic. Yes. It's easy. Yes. Yes, it's very easy to drive an automatic car. I can car. travel in the car. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but you cannot drive. <laughs> All right. Get the next one. We can ride a bike. Yeah. Yes, okay. I can. All We're right. That's easy. <laughs> I yes. love the bikes. Okay, I love bikes. All right. Next one. All right. <laughs> Who can say the month of the year backwards? It's starting from December, not starting from January. January, February, normal is just forward, but backwards. November. Uh -huh. November. Uh -huh. September. August. July. June. May. Yes. Uh -huh. April. <laughs> April. March. March. January. 
February, January. All right, that's right. It's starting from December backwards until January. All right. Next. You can sing a song in English. <laughs> Uh -huh. mm. So, so, <laughs> which one? Titanium to Sia. All right. From Sia. I only tried. Okay. Which one? Okay. Which song? Yeah, well, well, California. Hotel hey, California. Yo. All right. Any other song? At least the ABC. <laughs> or the Ten Little Indians. Or Yankee Doodle. All right, there are so many. Yeah, and, and if you like music in English, of course you learn the songs. At least one part, one line of the songs, right? Of your favorite songs. Okay. Okay, who can you snap your fingers? It's just like okay. All right. Yes. So then everybody can. Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. That's a snap your fingers. Can I stand up and touch your toes? Your toes are the the dedos de los pies. <laughs> oh, I so your feet, toes. Okay. Like stand and touch. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> right. Like if you do yoga, then you can do that. Easy. Easy peasy. Yo hago yoga, pero no llego. <laughs> really? A veces. <laughs> Okay, who can play chess? Oh, I can. You can play chess. My when brother, did... yes. No, so, una vez me so, explicaron, so. pero <laughs> perdí. That's <laughs> what means chess. Eh, ajedrez. Mm. I try, yeah, but I, I, I usually forget the strategies that I have to follow to move the pieces. Okay. Me too. <laughs> All right. Next one. Who can I speak three languages? No. <laughs> Not yet. I can't to say muy to Muy to. ¿Cómo se llama? ¿Cómo es? Gato. No. No, <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I forgot, pero lo podía decir. <laughs> okay, that Con is Michigan. Portuguese. Yes. <laughs> Muy todo obrigado. Okay. Japanese. Japanese? Así era, es que iba a confundir Portuguese with Italy. <laughs> with Italian. Italian. Ajá. Uh -huh. Japanese? Yes, arigato. <laughs> Just arigato. Okay, in German? Beer. <laughs> At least thank you in German. It's very similar to English. Okay. You say danke. <laughs> danke. Yes. Uh -huh. In Italian? Good morning. Buongiorno. Buona, buongiorno. No. Buongiorno. Uh -huh. Yes. Good evening. It's buonasera. And Pizza. thank you. Buona, buon appetito. <laughs> buon appetito. Okay. That is saying yeah, joy. Italian. Ah, spaghetti. <laughs> spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's eliminate this one. 
we get excited about English and about languages. <laughs> <laughs> Can you whistle happy birthday? Whistle. Exactly what, the, what somebody just says, like, <laughs> that's whistle. Oh. But happy birthday. Oh. Um, oh. <laughs> yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. To you. <laughs> That's whistling. Happy birthday. Like the parrots. Parrots usually whistle. All right. <laughs> and the referees whistles as well. Okay. Can you say the alphabet in English in 10 seconds? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. No. <laughs> Quickly, in five seconds. L, K, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, B, W, S, Y. Y, Z. Sí. Right. So usually, para, de yeah, para decirlo rápido, to say it fast, tienen que agrupar las letras, como like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Como la canción. <laughs> like the song, exactly. Similar. Like yeah. Eminem. Eminem. Exactly, like rapping. <laughs> Can you dance? Oh, I can. It depends. <laughs> yeah, it depends. It, it depends on the, the, the music, <laughs> merengue, cumbia. <laughs> ah, for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Dancing outside your house. All right. Now we have few talents. Can you say 10 countries in 10 seconds? Yeah. Germany, Germany mm -hmm. China. Uh huh. Now with the World Cup, no excuses there. Germany, France, the Netherlands, okay, <laughs> Spain, Saudi Arabia, Sudan. So you go like really quick. USA. If you want to say, exactly, if you want to say countries from Latin America, it's a lot faster. You just start from Mexico, all Central America, and all South America. So that's easy. Okay, can you touch your nose with your tongue? Yeah. No, I can't. <laughs> Con su lengua. No. 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 <laughs> I, I, I don't no. think so. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's too difficult. No, it's not difficult. Can you throw a square in a circle at the same time? The, the singer of this, yes, yes, can. All right, yes, I can. Okay, I can't. I get confused. Miss this one, can you spin five times and then walk in a straight line? It's como dar vueltas y luego caminar right. I don't think I can. I can't. <laughs> I get dizzy. <laughs> Two more. Can you skateboard? No. Oh, I can't. I can. can. Well, my, my nephew can. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And that's all. And the last one, can you play video games? Of course, everybody can, I think. Right? Of course. Yeah, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so that's easy. All right. Well, just for practice, okay, because we were using can and could, of course, can it's, I mean, well known because we usually express talents. Abilities, skills with can, 
So, you know, I mean, we also use can to ask for permission sometimes, okay, to ask for possibilities, but it's not very formal. So if you want to ask for that, we better use could. And we sound more formal, all right? Yes? Yes, of course. Yes. All right, good. Well, let's keep going. Okay. Oh, by the way, did you finish the midterm? Como les fue el midterm? Easy? Easy. Easy peasy? Yes, easy. All right, good. And of course, we are talking, as I, as I mentioned before, the use of would and would like to, right? So we completed this exercise, complete the following statements or questions. I would like to, Mr. Trujillo wouldn't. Did you complete these questions and statements or not yet? Not yet. Not yet. Okay, so this is definitely as you wish to complete them, right? So there's not a correct or incorrect sentence. Just remember, okay, uh, for affirmative, would or would like to for negative wouldn't or wouldn't like to okay and for question you start with would would he or would she all right so let me just make sure that i have this also on your manual is this uh, the same exercise para que no solamente hagan este exercise también escriban dos o tres ideas de que harían si un customer o sea imagínense Por eso dije hypothetical situation. Imagínense que usted trabaja en una tienda o que usted da un servicio, like customer service, y alguien viene y le quiere reclamar o le quiere exigir que le dé refund. ¿Qué haría? I would talk to the manager. I would refer this person to the manager. I would explain the policies of the company. ¿Qué haría usted? Yes. Ok, entonces vamos a hacer este exercise 5 and exercise 6. Obviously, traten de ayudar a los compañeros como dar ideas y de ver cómo se completaría de la mejor manera. These two exercises. Exercise 5 and exercise 6. Ready? Almost? Yes. All Ready. right. Great. Ahorita, ahorita, ahí sí ya. Ahí está. ¿Ya lo pueden ver? Sí. Ahí está. 
Sí, ya se ve. Yo me acabo de conectar, así que explíqueme qué vamos a hacer. Completar el exercise 5, es decir, se completa las siguientes con una pregunta, creo. Okay. Vamos a hacer la pregunta, ¿o cómo? Creo que sí. Y no dio ejemplos ahí de algo. Quiero ver. Ah, no solo habló, no dijo mucho. La cuestión. Es completarlas nada más, las que están ahí. Eh, I would like to, no sé, agregarle ahí algo más. Ah, pero cualquier cosa, no, sí. o, o, o ya algo predefinido. No, cualquier cosa. Porque... She won. Ella. Ya, es que le podemos poner... Bien, voy a poner, quiero ver. I would like to see you, le puedes poner. <ríe> Me gustaría verte, algo así. O si quiere comer. <ríe> Me gustaría comer una hamburguesa también, puede poner. I would like to see you. Warren, eh, las cinco, dijeron, de las cinco. Sí, las cinco. Pero ese es en negativo. En. Eh... Um. Mr. Profil wouldn't drive a car, drive, drive a car. No puede manejar un carro. Podría, sería. No podría. Ajá, podría. No, en ese caso sería no debería. No debería. Ajá. Sí, podría ser esa. Yo escribí Mr. Trujillo wouldn't travel in plane. No podría uh -huh. viajar en, av en avión. Uh Teacher. Hi. Uh, uh, the five question. Mm -hmm. uh, she she wore or wore. Hay hay un error de dedo. Sería ah. would. Yes. Ah, okay. Thank no you. Word. All right. Ya tenemos la 1 y la 2, vamos con la 3. Sí. A este sí es pregunta, va. Sí. Sí, Good. Mantenemos al mismo o cambiamos, porque ya serían dos con el mismo. 
Ah, pudimos pero usar otra. aunque, aunque en la cuarta también lleva la y en la sexta. Ah, sí. Es que ahí de, eh, depende de lo que quiera agregarle de complemento. ¿vale? Vayan ahí arriba, en la, en la, en la number three, no sé, podría ella... And will she the receipt merchandise? Merchandise? No, merchandise. Mm, no sé. Merchandise. 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 Ah, pues lo estaba diciendo bien sin saber. Ok. Continue. Eh, vamos por la cinco, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. She would, she wouldn't, she wouldn't, she wore. Es que dice, es una, es una mala escritura. She wouldn't, ella no debería. She wouldn't. Uh, Go to the park again. Number six. Uh, is. Would you like to? Number six is. Number five. Number five. Ah, uh, number five. She wouldn't. She wouldn't. Ah, uh, she. She wouldn't take the bill. Say the say and ah uh, no 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 drink 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 she the coffee drink she wouldn't drink coffee or she she wouldn't drink a uh, beer yeah. uh drink she she wouldn't drink a uh, 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 a beer, a bit. Melissa envió with like with like to go for a walk para la cuatro. Veamos la next. She wouldn't. Bueno, yo escribí She wouldn't go to the park again. También. She wouldn't go to the park again. No debería ir al parque otra vez. Ajá. Esa tengo yo escrita. En in, in the six. Would you, like, would you like to eat a pizza? Ajá, uh -huh. yo, yo también escribí una acerca de la pizza. This is, uh, would you like to add piece, pieces to pizza? Spice. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo sería un pedazo de pizza? Mm -hmm. Pieces of spice. She wouldn't copy the test. Esa es buenísima. Tiene más sentido mm. que la mía. <laughs> y la mía. <laughs> <laughs> ok, entonces la siguiente. Bueno, yo escribí así. Would you like to a piece of pies? A slice. A slice. A slice of pizza. Es Entonces no es pie. Es que pis es como más un trozo, pero es, es que de pizza es como generalmente uno es una lasca. Entonces, slice. Es L-I-C-E. A slice of cheese, a slice of bread, a slice of pizza. Oh, ok. Thank you. All right. The slice of pizza. Ok. Ahora la siguiente. Ajá. Uh -huh. En la 6 sería, would you like to? 
Ah, eso sería cualquier. Would you like to... Está preguntando, creo. Es pregunta. Would like, you like to... Um... Would you like to... Play soccer. Ajá. Play soccer. Te gustaría jugar fútbol. Está bueno. Va, ahí están las seis ya. Y la, y la, y la parte de seis, ¿de qué se trata? Esta es la sí. que vamos a ver ahorita. Línea para... Yo sí está larga. Chula, que sí se... Es como escribir un párrafo ahí sobre lo que harías en caso de un cliente que era un reembolso o algo así. Reembolso, dice. Ajá. <coughs> Hay que escribir ese párrafo. Pero ¿cómo, cómo desarrollarlo? Sí. Dice, escribe el párrafo de cinco líneas sobre lo que harías en caso de que un reembolso de un mal servicio. Uh -huh. ¿Qué le pudiéramos poner ahí? Dice un, un párrafo. Por aquí había un ejemplo, parece que... En la... Arriba está un ejemplo. De... De... Algo así, pero veamos. Se mira lo que puse, ¿no? ¿No? No se mira nada. No, lo mismo está. La misma imagen. Sí, la misma. Estoy viendo yo el, el, el proyecto. ¿Qué, qué número de página es? Eh, estaba la, la número... Estamos en la Twenty. Era como la la Twenty Five. La veinticinco. Donde estaba. Una parte de cómo. Ya volvimos. No. I come back. Hi. La fecha de nacimiento o fecha última de pago de las payment date. Mm, payment date. Este, permítame, Meli, este, la seis es, would you like to? Es que está mal escrita, por eso. Vaya, entonces para hacer la six, la parte six, uh -huh. okay, write a five line paragraph about.
Hello, Emerson, did you finish? Yo creo que sería como la venta, la venta del producto. Uh -huh. ¿Me escuchan? Sí. Sí. Sí, cubre la cantidad. Bueno, porque sería, first we, we will revive the invoice, then we reveal the date. Of sale for the next to see if the converse the guarantee. Te lo escribo y, y, y lo revisa en ¿Sí Word. Sí. Bueno, entonces voy a dejar de, de, de aquí, lo voy a hacer en, en otro ahorita en Word. Bueno. El mejor tengo de Excel. Check the bid, check the date y check the date or sale to check the. Guarantee. Bueno, Ahorita te lo voy a abrir. Aquí lo voy a escribir. Man. Aquí está. Si está Excel, va. Ah, sí, Excel. Pues no miro. Espera, me lo voy a hacer más grande. Le he puesto un guarna ahora. Ya tenía abierto este, aproveché. ¿Se ve, va? Sí. Es muy. Entonces, ah, ok. Eh, en español. ¿Cómo? Vaya. Sería como, ¿qué haría en caso de que un cliente hiciera un reembolso eh, de un producto o un servicio mal? Ajá, que él ha pedido o que ella ha pedido. Entonces estamos tratando de, de descifrar eso. ¿Cómo lo escribiríamos? ¿Qué es lo que haríamos? En el caso de que el cliente quisiera un reembolso. Yes. Ah, ok. Bueno, ¿y, y qué llevan ustedes? ¿Qué tienen todavía? Bueno, hay, yo, bueno yo sugería eh, que la condición del producto que no estuviera dañado sería I, ver, I, I verify the condition the product condition if no damas da, damas damas damages dañado porque, ¿no? Hola. porque también por, porque también podríamos decir sorry pero lamentablemente las políticas de la empresa no nos permiten realizar reembolso. Rápido y sencillo, mejor. No refund. Ajá. No Ajá. refund. <risa> Pero A para ver, que nos lleguemos cinco ir. párrafos, podría ser... O podríamos decir así como que, eh, digamos... O oh, I, will, I will change the product. Ahorita <risa> creo. Teacher. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hi, hi. Quedamos en el limbo, teacher. Really? Yes. <risa> <risa> so you didn't do the exercise. Les tocó no. hacerlo de forma individual. Sí, nadie sabía hasta dónde estaba. <risa> really? Teacher, yo acabo de entrar, he tenido problemas con el internet. Dos o tres veces me ha sacado, y te trataba con el teléfono y te demasiado me está costando. Ouch. Sí. Teacher, yo vengo manejando. Por eso en la primera, cuando me puso la, la asistencia, no, no contesté por eso. Oiga, y ahorita, si no contesto, es por eso también. Don't worry. Hi. Hi. 
Todos estaban lost. Todos estábamos hablando sobre las políticas, teacher. Yeah, right. <risa> <risa> Vaya, voy a tomar la tenda y después seguimos. No worry. No problem, teacher. No Val, por ahí. Vamos a ir a comer. Carlos. Present. César. I'm here. Claudia. Daniel. Present. Edwin. Present. Emerson. Present teacher. Eric. Beamer. Jacob. Present. Jocelyn. Present teacher. Jorge. Present teacher. Julio. Present. Carla. Lailin. Present. Present. Mary. Present. Ray right, Mario, Melissa, Sergio, and Wilfred. Present teacher. All right. Good. Teacher, um, right. I'm here. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Sí, varios están reportando que ten, tienen... Connection problems, internet connection issues acá. Ok, no problem. Veamos. Vamos a revisar cómo nos quedó este exercise. Yo sé que ustedes lo hicieron muy bien, que hicieron su mejor esfuerzo, que estuvieran trabajando alone. <ríe> Hola, alone. Ay, Dios santo, espérenme, no voy a ir a second, que se me fue la PowerPoint, no sé para dónde. Aquí está. Here it is. All right. Vamos acá, creo. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Okay, okay. Issues, okay. Okay. Eran sobre esta estructura, ¿verdad? The first one, I would like to... ¿Qué pusieron? Sí, podrían poner cualquier cosa. I would like to. Ajá. Drink soda. I would like to drink soda. Aquí es como expresar like un to. deseo, nada más. Ajá. I would like to. I would have like to money. eat a pizza. I would like to eat pizza. Ajá. I would like. I would like to. Um, buy the sweeters. I would like to buy two sweaters. Two sweaters. Two sweaters. Sweaters. And sweaters. Yes, two sweaters. Okay, I would like to buy two sweaters from Sara. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I would like to travel. I would like to be rich. I would like to be famous. I would like to go to Qatar. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. I would like to travel to Tali. <laughs> exactly. I would like to be rich. I would like to be on TV. I would like to have... A new car. Travel to Carnival like, de Brasil. Exactly. Eso solo expresar un, un deseo. I would like to. ¿Ya? Yeah? Teacher, entonces es como nuestro, lo que nosotros deseamos. O sea, es como expresar al que me gustaría. Eso es tan sencillo. Obviamente en el contexto de la unidad lo han, lo han aplicado como me gustaría pedir un reembolso. I would like to ask for a refund. I would like to exchange this product, right? Pero es como expresar un deseo. Yes? Yes, teacher. Bye. Mr. Trujillo wouldn't. <laughs> Imagínense el señor Trujillo como un compañero de trabajo. Go to the office. Mr. Trujillo wouldn't like to be, or wouldn't go to the office on time, or wouldn't participate in this activity, wouldn't yeah. repeat the report, wouldn't answer the phone, yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. Lo que no haría el señor Trujillo. Mr. Trujillo Mr. wouldn't repeat the instructions. 
Mr. Trujillo wouldn't travel in plane. Yeah, Mr. Trujillo wouldn't travel by plane. Mm -hmm. And the question, would she? Usted dice, ¿cocinaría mi mamá esta noche? ¿Cocinaría mi mamá el domingo? No sé. Would she prepare chicken for dinner? Would she drive a car? Would she drive a car? Mm -hmm. Would she finish the assignment? Would she come to the party? Yes. Would, would she watch uh, TV until midnight? Uh -huh. Would she watch TV until midnight? Would she watch a horror film? Would she do me a favor? <laughs> would she do her, her homework? Or would she do me a favor? Me haría ella un favor. It's como like wondering, right? Okay, we would like to. Este también muy parecido a la number one. A nosotros nos gustaría que. We would like to, to live in peace. We would like to travel. Huh? We would travel like every year. We would like to travel every year. We would like to have better salaries. We would like to Teacher, live. Pero, yes. Y ese que dice we. Es la contracción de we would. La contracción. We would like. Would like to. O sea, futuro. No, es como would, pero contractado. We would, would like to. Would like to. Would like ah, okay, to. Mm -hmm. Would like to participate more. Would like to have more practice. Would like to. Uh -huh. Talk, uh, like to learn. We would like to learn English. fast. Uh -huh. We would like to learn English. We would like to have a party. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yes. Vaya. She wouldn't. Eso también imagínese de alguien, de una persona, mujer, que algo que no haría. Por ejemplo, usted dice, mi hermana no haría eso. My sister well, wouldn't go to San Diego by herself. Mm -hmm. My sister wouldn't, wouldn't wouldn't travel by bus. She wouldn't travel by bus. Mm -hmm. She wouldn't. She wouldn't eat fish for dinner. She wouldn't. She wouldn't dance. She wouldn't dance. Ella no bailaría ni aunque la estén jalando, right? Mm. <laughs> she wouldn't study English. <laughs> She wouldn't play soccer. She wouldn't play soccer, right? Mm -hmm. Y la otra es como, ¿te gustaría hacer algo? Would you like to? Would you like to go to Santa Ana this coming weekend? Would you like to have a different job? Yes, would you like to? Ahí hay un typo también, ¿ok? En las dos últimas hay un error de edición. Would you like to would you like to earn more money? Would you like to earn more Teacher money? Teacher word también es una contracción. No, ahí hay un error. <ríe> un typo es un error de dedo. Ah. Oh. Okay. Ahí es would. Would you like to? Would you like to have vacations right now? Would you like to study another career? Would you like to get a job in Canada? Mm -hmm. Yes, es como, ¿te gustaría tal cosa? Yeah, eso, tal cual. But would you like to have a three minutes break? Yes. Ah, no hubo respuesta inmediata, así que no hay yeah. Ah, tricky question. No están prestando atención, ¿verdad? Mm, Teacher, repeat, repeat the answer. No hay cosas que solo se presentan una vez en la vida. Just one. No, really. Ahí yeah. sí, vea, participa. <laughs> <laughs> sí, 
is very important. Ajá. Vale, voy a mandar este screenshot, lo voy a dejar en, en los grupos de trabajo y igual voilà, ahí pueden tomarse un minute break, ¿ok? This is an exercise solo para expresar would like to. Judy would like to have a hamster. Luego tienen que ordenar. A todos le tienen que agregar would like to. ¿Ok? ¿Está claro? Mary yes. would like to have a cup of tea. Vamos a ver. Pero se unen porque la última vez no vi que estaban todos join. Así que voy a recrear esto. Recreate. Let's see. En theory, todos deberían estar en grupos de four. Ay, Elio, Jorge, eh, me mandó ella, creo que la imagen. Sí. Hola, teacher.
I would like. Usted también está escribiendo. Sí, pero voy a borrarlo porque me, me salió mal. ¿No? Como en unos, tú, como en unos túneles bien altos, así. Uh -huh. Ajá, no es, sí, no algo es así. el patinaje de hierro. Es el de patineta, el de tabla. O sea, pat... Like. This is the long A. This is the long A. See, yeah. like to visit. To visit the long A. To the long A. Vamos con the name. Manuel. Children. Would, would like to eat ice cream. Va? Sí. Children would like, like to eat ice cream. Uh -huh. Children would like to uh, eat, eat ice, ice cream. cream. Ice cream. Cream, cream. Cream. Ten. Robert would like to go to for a, a wall. For a walk. For a walk. For a walk. Ahí sería ya. Sí. Sí. A ver, si a la clase. Si no tengo un cargador ahí cerca. Y, y me, me, quedé, me quedé en el trabajo, aquí no tenía. Aquí. Sí, ha servido no ahorita. Sí, no, no, no creo. Ya. No, no, me va a sacar más que tenido problemas. Ah, en antes te pude conectar. Sí, en antes. No, 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 no. Ya la hicimos esa. Teacher, es cierto que solo teníamos que ponerles el would like to. Yes. Ok. No, pues ya les... <risa> Acabo bien feliz. Yes. <risa> Para sí, saber, que... saber dónde va, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Eso estábamos viendo que. Nos hizo demasiado fácil. Ay, no. <laughs> o lo hicimos bien o lo hicimos mal. No, it's correct. You finished, right? Yes. yes. Okay. Teacher, como al niño al dedo. What? <laughs> Tell me. What is mean London Eye? London Eye. El yes. London Eye es un, un, por decir así, un lugar icónico de, London, de Londres. Es como un mirador, por eso es el ojo de London. 
Ah, es como no, una, no, es no. una big Chicago, como la de Sunset Park, pero mucho más grande. Obviously. <risa> Yes, eso es London ahí. Ah, Gracias, teacher. Right. Pueden buscar un, un, un picture en Google. Y dice, ah, this is the London eye. Ajá. Uh -huh. Teacher, como digo, yo confío en usted. I trust you. I trust you, teacher. No, pero es para que tenga como una idea más clara. Ya le voy a buscar, no sé, vamos a Ahora ya terminamos. Finish. Yes. Of course. Ahí les he compartido una imagen de London ahí. Para los que estaban dudando cómo es el light of London, de London ahí. Sara. Sara would like to go to the zoo. Sara would like to go to the zoo. Mary. Mary would like to have a cup of tea. Qué conveniente, va a Mary would like to have a cup of tea, I know. I I would like to play I would like to play volleyball. I would like to play volleyball. We we would like to make a snowman. So a snowman. snowman. Yeah, we would snowman. like to make a snowman. Obviously, eso lo diríamos si tuviéramos nieve, right? Mm. <laughs> All right, we would like or to make only, a snowman. Sandman. <laughs> In San Miguel, they have ash from the from the volcano. Ah, <laughs> and sí. sand. Ah, pero nosotros podemos hacer esculturas de, 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 ¿cómo se llama? De arena. De arena en la playa. Mm -hmm. yes. Y duelen los brazos después. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Una vez hice un castillo con uno de mis sobrinos y el siguiente ya no aguanta. <laughs> All right. Sí, porque it's like you have to be pushing and grabbing the, the sand. Okay, sí. number five. They would like to go skating. They would like to go skating. Six. She would she like would... to buy sweets. She would like to buy sweets. Seven. They would, they like, would like to go, to, go to, like bed to bed late. late. They would like to go to bed late. I would like to go to bed early. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Number eight. I would like to visit the London I. I would like to visit the London Eye, or at least I would like to visit the Sunset Park. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Number nine. Children will like to eat ice cream. Yeah, children would like to eat ice cream. And Robert. Robert will like to go for a walk. Robert would like to go for a walk. All right, true, 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 true. Okay. <clears throat> Take turn discussing the following question. Does your company purchase things online? En su compañía les, hace, les toca hacer compras en línea? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. What elements are included in a purchase order? What do you know about outsourcing? Eso, questions para discutir. And what supplies are normally requested in your company? ¿Y qué tipo de supplies? ¿Cómo traducimos supplies? <coughs> uh -huh. Elementos. 
implementos, suministros, suministros insumos, <risa> right? Se piden o se normalmente se piden en su compañía. Company actually. What elements are included in a purchase order? ¿Qué elementos se incluyen en una orden de compra? What do you know about outsourcing? ¿Qué saben de outsourcing? ¿Alguien sabe algo de outsourcing? Es, un, es como un Ajá, es un concepto bastante común. Como cuando su empresa, su compañía requiere los servicios profesionales de alguien externo, right? Entonces esa persona llega a hacer outsourcing a su empresa. Pero no necesariamente la empresa es, le hace un contrato como parte de su personal. Solo mientras termina el trabajo, el ten, le pagan y gone. Right? Entonces vamos a discutir estas questions así brevemente en los mismos grupos y luego regresamos para continuar. Let's go. Hello. Hola. 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 Pero no lo hacen en el... porque los Pero... proveedores llegan a, 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 a donde sea la empresa. Cuando son gases, ah, no son gases. Ahí se llega. No lo hacen en línea, entonces. No, no. Eh, solo un plasma que compramos en línea, pero hace como dos años. Una máquina <risa> con este de corte. Ok. In the company at, at I work, uh, just say this. In what elements are included in the Porsche order that eh, I know? En una orden de compra. Tendría uh -huh. que llevar, digamos, llevar. Yeah, ¿Qué, ¿Qué más elementos? In the case, is a paper, is a, mm -hmm. um, materia prima, mater, material. Yeah. Sí, ahí se entraría eso. Sí. Materia, material. Yeah. Yeah. Tiene, otro, tiene otro nombre, materia prima. ¿Cómo? Y se le dice de otra forma. Right material. 
row. Oh. ¿Qué otro nombre? ¿Cómo? ¿Qué, ¿Qué compran ustedes? ¿Qué pasa tuyo? Ela, ¿Sí? Hilo. Tela. Y como es un. Es una chila. Ajá. Sí, sí, sí. Tela, hilo. Principalmente. ¿Ya ha convertido? Sí. Ya, no, ya no, 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 no transforman nada. No, solo lo cortamos, lo bordamos y lo, lo costuramos. Ah. Ya viene la tela, ya en rollo. Sí, lo compran en el local, entonces. Ah, sí, aquí en. ¿Cómo se llama? Petenati. Aquí Carretera Santa Ana. Exigente, César, qué exigente. <ríe> <laughs> because only bueno all the poor charms is on um, is on um, uh, at the stores May. yes can you repeat <laughs> okay because the old poor charms are on the stores, porque ah, todas las compras son en las tiendas. Ah, ok. Eso intentaba decir. Uh -huh. Ok. Ahora okay. yo le voy a preguntar a usted. Ask me, César, ask me. César, <laughs> does your company purchase thing online? Yes, it does. Really? Wow. Yes. Uh, Why? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> because 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 it's very easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In this case, uh, we 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 do we do we do buy uh, uh, raw material. Uh, par Marchin um, maybe Hi teacher Hi what happened Ah uh, I uh, I am long Really No right. no nobody is Nobody responds. Nobody responds, right. Okay, I'm going to try to put you in another room. Ya eh, tres veces me salió que me cambiara de, de, de room y las tres veces lo mismo. Claro, ¿verdad? Está un problema, de hecho. Me manda para acá mismo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so weird. Sorry. Okay. My body loves me. <laughs> it's all right, but you did the exercise. Um, no. Not yet. Yet. No, I'm waiting. Okay. I'm waiting. Perfect. Veo, es que veo, hay otros cuatro compañeros, pero nadie contesta. Yes, they probably they're just listening. Don't worry. Okay.
teacher. Hi. What is the difference between buy and purchase? It's the same. The only difference probably is that purchase. Es como un concepto más de negocios, más grande. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it, it depends the context because uh, buy is the uh, is referring the the action mm -hmm. and and purchase purchase is uh, about uh, the documents. I I think. But it also can be an action. You can purchase things. Okay. Mm -hmm. It can also be a synonym. But it, it's it's more useful in the business context because you purchase more things, bigger quantities. Okay. And not necessarily for yourself, right? Because it's for the company. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Entonces ya para eh, compras más personales eh, sería más buy. Que buy, ¿verdad? Or shop. De alguna ah, forma. Okay. Correcta. Right. Okay. Gracias, teacher. All right, no problem. Okay, let's go on. Okay. So you just discussed these questions. It's fine, no problem. Don't worry. What about these pictures? We have received vendor tickets for discount, commerce, and online purchase. All right, and then you have to match the synonym. The synonym is otra palabra que significa lo mismo. Es otra forma de decir es un sinónimo, right? Then you have trade, sales clerk, invoice, coupons, and virtual shopping. For example, receipt. ¿Cuál sería el sinónimo? It's a trade. Trade? Mm. The receipt, Boy. the document. That would be invoice. Okay, creo que no están en orden, pero I'm gonna go try. Okay, so tickets for discounts, literalmente son coupons, right? Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, receipt definitivamente sería el invoice. Vendor o sales clerk, la persona que atiende un negocio, right? So this is the receipt. And commerce, trade, comerciar o, o hacer. Eh, I said business, make business, commerce. Okay. Propaganda. Like, no. like a like store. Generalmente right. es, es uh, vender, vender o comprar. That's commerce. That's mm. trade. Entonces, Negociar. Only purchase sería virtual shopping, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Definitely. That would be the last one. Okay, so these are the synonyms. Or another, another way to say, uh huh. Interview me. Yes. Dice que el, mi teléfono se me va a descargar por si me terminas de la, de la clase. It's because of the phone. Okay, no problem. Don't worry. It's okay. ¿Dónde me llega? Teacher. Yes. yes. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Digamos, como el would, would like es me gustaría, ¿verdad? Yeah. Entonces, para decir quisiera sería como que. Es lo mismo. Lo mismo uh -huh. en inglés. Mm -hmm. I would uh, like to. Uh, okay, teacher, gracias. Mm -hmm. It's easy in English. <laughs> okay, este es solo un reminder para que <laughs> se recuerden que ya después de hoy ya no deberían estar haciendo el midterm, ya deberías quedar terminado. Okay, tonight. Okay, veamos. As different participants, valid reason why customers can ask for a refund and reasons why they cannot. ¿Cuáles serían unas buenas razones o unas acceptable reasons para pedir un refund? ¿Y cuáles no serían una acceptable reason para pedir un refund? Acá tenemos un example de un Smart TV. Un acceptable reason would be the root cable is broken. El cable está dañado, está roto. Y una razón no aceptable para pedir un refund, the customer broke the screen. Si el customer quebró el screen, la pantalla. En el caso de un printer, ¿cuál sería una acceptable reason para pedir un refund? Mm. 
Uh -huh. ¿Alguien tiene alguna buena razón para pedir un refund en el caso de una empresa? Algo por lo que usted diga, sí, me tienen que dar el refund. Es very slow. Ese sería un acceptable reason, que la printer es very slow. O el customer yeah. tuvo que haber leído las especificaciones de la printer. Yo creo que tal vez que llegara en mal estado, como que tal vez no encendiera o Ajá. Tal vez le faltaran partes. Ok, missing parts, it wouldn't work, it wouldn't turn on. Ajá. <risa> o que la, de repente la tinta está seca, que no imprime, right? Eso sí sería the ink wouldn't print. Pero, ajá, una unacceptable reason para que no le den el ripa. Podría ser ajá, como, como que no leí las especificaciones y, y, y sí es como un poco lenta y no tan moderna, por decir algo. Creo que por eso no le darían un ripa. No sería una acceptable reason. El cell phone, ¿cuál sería una acceptable reason para un refund? Mm -hmm. Ok. No charger. No charger, no charging. Mm -hmm. O que falte el cargador o que no esté cargando. And that could be two possible mm -hmm. reasons. Two possible acceptable reasons. Uh -huh. O ya no, teacher, ya vienen sin cargador. <risa> en el carro, solo lo pone ahí el cargador. <risa> no, es que yo creo que es por cuestiones de medio ambiente que lo están haciendo. Really? ¿Y ahora cómo se cargan? Eso, lo que se supone es que se supone que si uno compra, sol? por ejemplo, <risa> <risa> si usted compra un teléfono, digamos, tiene un, un A21, por decirle algo Ajá. así, y se compra un A31, un A53, ellos asumen que usted tiene el cargador de la 21 y es el mismo tipo. Entonces, este, por eso ya no le ponen el cubo. Le digo porque a mí me pasó. Y si el cargador poco. ya no sirve. Eh, a veces se daña primero el cargador que el teléfono. Sí, ahí pues, quedó en mí. Tuve que arreglar. Sorry, sorry. Sí. <risa> you buy a new one. Sí, es true. Bueno, yo he tenido una experiencia de un, de un celular que ha sido eterno, literal. Pero el cargador ya se lo cambió como three times. Uh, mm -hmm. Teacher, yes. I believe that an acceptable reason is that the cell phone is broken. Mm -hmm. Bro uh -huh. Or scratch, or the screen is a scratch, podría ser, right? And unacceptable, I don't like the color. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Or it's not the model that I asked. All right. Credit cards. ¿Con qué podrían matchar credit card? Confirm your information. Select the items. Go to the right. Check. Confirm the method and login. Aquí tienen otra vez los steps, pero aquí está el complement. Credit of cards. Pine. Uh -huh. of okay. Information. Okay. Credit cards Inform information. Um, Mm -hmm. Confirm your information. Mm -hmm. Okay, with your information. Es lo mismo que submit, right? Select an item. For mm. to purchase. To purchase. Yes. Mm -hmm. Go to the online web, web page uh -huh. online web page yeah. right billing address the oh. billing address check the price check, check the, the price. price and confirm, confirm. the method of payment the method of payment and Log in your account. Log in your, your account. account. That's right. Ok. <laughs> ya escuchó. Ay, no, ya empezaron, my little neighbors. 
Me estoy bien fiesteros. En literal, I'm very, very isolated. Es como la última casa casi. Y aún se escucha desde la calle. Anyways. This, that, this, those. Okay. How could you buy something like this, that, this, those? Y está hablando acerca de una purse que tiene en su mano. O sea, de una cartera que tiene en la mano. This. This. All right, yes. How could you buy something like this? Y lo muestra. Okay, reports are very heavy. With a pile of reports on your laps. O sea, y tiene así como literalmente una prensa de reportes o de folders en su... Acá, en las piernas. Está sentado, this, ese es un this, lap. This. These reports are very, very heavy. heavy. Exactly. I had to wear comfortable shoes I bought during a long walk. So we can say that. 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 Com. That. Pero shoes es plural. Es plural. Shoes. Es this. Um, this those. 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 These comfortable those. shoes I bought during a long walk. Okay. This. Yeah. Digamos que todavía los tiene puesto. Okay. 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 Can you bring me a cup I left in Anna's desk? Eh, ¿Cómo señalando? Eso es pointing. Cuando dice pointing at the cup of ah, on sí. a far desk. Sí. Está en un, en that, that. That, that, that. Porque that, está señalando that, a la taza that, literalmente that. en un desk que está lejos. Entonces, that. That, that. Cup I left in Anna's desk. Are Mr. Pineda's children about a picture hanging on the wall? Señalando una foto que está en la pared. Dos. 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 Porque son los children de el señor Pineda. Mm -hmm. ¿verdad? Those. Those are Mr. Pineda's children. Uf. Y el, el último, that. That picture you see is my wife and daughters. About a picture, igual, un picture que está lejos. All right. Good. Bueno, vamos acá hasta acá, because so much. Ok, let's see. Veamos la attendance. Lo siento, así un poco. Ok, Claudia. No, Claudia is not the first one. Valmore is the first one. Valmore, Sorry. presente. Hi. <laughs> Carlos. Present. César. I'm here. Claudia. I'm here, Daniel, Edwin, Emerson, Emerson I'm here, teacher. Eric, Jacob, <laughs> Jocelyn, Present. Jorge, oh, Jorge ya se iba a ir por el cell phone, <laughs> vaya, Julio, Carla, Lightning, Present. María, Mario, Melissa. Present. Sergio. Present. Alfredo. ¿Quién fue Present. la última persona que participó en el one on one? I, I don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I think, I think it was Jorge, actually. Ajá. Yeah. Uh -huh. Jocelyn. Hola, teacher. Are you ready? Yeah. Vaya, está bien, no problema. Ok. ¿Ya llegó a su casa? Sí, ya estoy en mi casa. Todavía tío? driving from San Miguel. <ríe> bueno, como le escribí, venía ya algo cerca. My God. All right. Good. Ok. See you tomorrow, everybody. Ah, ok. Good night. Bye. 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 Me, usted me avisa, teacher. Yes, tell me. De la clase que vimos hoy, ¿hay algo que quiere que repasemos? De la cámara para que no se sienta tan chulita. <risa> All right, no problem. Sí, teacher, que quizás ahorita no.
Pero sí tenía una duda yo, teacher, de otras clases. Bien. Fíjese que en el... Espérame, ya le digo porque acá tengo anotado. Me gusta. Bien. Con el uso del... Ah, oh, no. Dice que tenía la duda con el uso del camp y el cold. Cool. Pero uh -huh. usted había dicho de que el cold era como más para uso de... Como más como formal. Formal. Uh -huh. formal. Para solicitar algo de una manera más cordial, digamos. Uh -huh. Ajá. Y, ese, y ese se podría usar también como para futuro. No. Podría ser para pasado. Solo para pasado. Sí, podría ser como el pasado de Ken. Por ejemplo, usted dice, yo puedo ir hoy, pero ayer no pude ir a tal lugar. Podría ser, I couldn't go yesterday. Ahí ah, sí okay. sería, ajá, para el pasado de Ken. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. También podría ser como para posibilidad. Usted dice, possibility, I could go. Yo podría ir. Yo podría ir. Uh -huh. Ahí creo que es cuando medio se confunde con el futuro. Ajá, es... es Possibility, es, nada más. Ajá, era un poquito, ajá, eso. Confusing. Y por el momento solo eso, teacher, tenía esa duda. Porque la clase de ahora la voy a volver a ver, porque no, no presto mucha <risa> atención. Y ya. Don't worry, ok, y es, fine. Y no me pude conectar porque estuve en el trabajo y salí tarde. Y from San Miguel. No, fue aquí en San Salvador. Mm. Fue a saludar, que estábamos con cierre de año. Y esta semana, teacher, si no contesto, mm. no es que no quiera contestar hoy, así que voy a hacer <ríe> más bien trabajo hoy. Ok. Por mí ya me conecto más formal. Ay, me disculpa. Don't worry. Y ya terminó la plataforma. Sí, fíjese que voy adelantada, teacher. Esta semana iba a comenzar con la, con la unidad 4. Módulo 4, really? sección 4, no sé. Sí, pero es que es porque estuve leyendo, teacher, también, no, para que yo puedo todo eso, no puedo, yo soy bien dunda, no puedo ni hablar. Don't say that. <risa> pero no diga eso. Sí, verdad. Pero sí, ahí he avanzado, he avanzado con la plataforma. Okay. Um, tuve unos inconvenientes, pero los logré porque los yeah. verbos que se ponen Estoy... en pasado. El, el auxiliar se tiene que cambiar el verbo también y eso no lo no no lo sabía pero por andarme adelantando me va mal pero me puse a estudiar de eso también nice. no pero ya estoy viendo que sí avanzó con el con el examen también verdad sí dicho el midterm sí ya debe sí. estar terminado ya ok no problem then. bueno no sé si quieres que repasemos alguna otra cosa Quizás por el momento no, teacher, tendría que, tendría que leer, ver la clase de ahora nuevamente. Pero como usted sube al sistema la clase, yo la voy a ver. Sí, para... igual, la clase de hoy prácticamente se trataba del repaso de la unidad 2. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Y ya mañana iniciamos con la unidad 3. Ok, está bien. Pero con los tiempos vamos bien, teacher. Este, yes. hoy... okay. Sí, solo sería de... Una clase, una o dos clases que voy a tener que mover y eso sí la vamos a tener que ajustar, pero igual hay que hablarlo con toda la clase, porque tengo unos compromisos que definitivamente no los puedo quitar. So, vamos a tener que either Saturday o moverla hasta el final del de curso. Está bien, como usted diga, usted, no, usted es la que mata. <risa> <risa> ok, and where do you work, Jocelyn? Buenas noches, teacher. Ok, good night.